Okay, guys, this is chapter 24, problem 9. So in this question, we're given that a borrower and a lender agree on a nominal interest rate and that after they agree on this interest rate, inflation is higher than people expect it to be. So in part 1, the question is asking, um, is the real interest rate then higher or lower than expected? So the answer is lower. Um, recall that the real interest rate equals the nominal interest rate minus inflation. And so if inflation is higher, that means the real interest rate is going to be lower. So in the next question, the next part of the question asks, uh, are the lenders and the borrower uh, worse off or better off? Um, and so since the real interest rate is lower, um, it's going to be that the borrower is better off because the amount that the borrower now has to repay is, is worth less. And so if the borrower is better off, then the lender is going to be worse off because the amount of money that the lender is getting is now worth less. And for part C, um, it's asking uh, the higher inflation in the 1970s, how did that higher inflation affect those with fixed rate mortgages and uh, how did that affect the banks? So with a higher than expected inflation, um, banks would have liked to increase the interest rate in order to keep the real interest rate the same. Um, however, they can't do this on people who have a fixed rate mortgage. Um, and so that means in real terms, the people who have fixed rate mortgages, the amount that they borrowed was worth more than the amount that they're now repaying. Uh, so the people that have the fixed rate mortgages are better off and the banks therefore are uh, worse off. So that was chapter 24, problem 9.